What's going on guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm gonna be telling you the top five reasons why you should not move to Las Vegas. So like I said in today's video guys, I'm gonna be telling you the top five reasons why you should not move to Las Vegas. Now if you're new to the channel, I made a video last week about the top five reasons why you should move to Las Vegas. There's gonna be a card on one of these sides here that you can check out if you wanna watch that after this video. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing because we cover videos about travel, fitness, mindset, and vlogs. Do all types of topics that you guys want me to talk about. So if you have any video suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And again, consider subscribing and smashing that like button. All right, so reason number one that you should not move here is if you are not a people person. Here in Vegas, I have noticed that compared to Los Angeles, people are much more friendly not only that, but most of the jobs, the economy here is built off of hospitality, it's built off of tourism, it's built off of hotels, restaurants, bars, nightlife. So if you're somebody who doesn't enjoy spending time with people throughout the day, your work day, you're gonna have a very hard time adjusting to this environment or finding a job in the first place. If you're able to come here and you have something else lined up, you'll be fine. If you're not, somebody who has something lined up, you're gonna probably have to just take what you can get in the hospitality industry when you first move here, and then you can transition into another career. But if you're not willing to do that, this is not gonna be a great place for you to move because again, this is Las Vegas. We are built off of hospitality here. So if you're not a people person or you do not have a job lined up, I would not move here. Reason number two would be if you are somebody who dislikes the heat. This is a desert. So in the summer months, June, July, August, September as well, September towards the end, it starts to cool down. But if you do not like the heat, you're gonna be miserable living here during those months. Now, the other months, October, November, December, January, they're all beautiful. Like it does get cold here. It does snow sometimes. If you wanna learn more about the weather, I'll put a card to my video about that here. But if you don't like the dry heat, you are gonna have a very, very bad time here. I've seen and know even a few people who, they actually leave for the summer. They go back to California for those three or four months and then they come back when it cools down. They go back to Michigan or wherever else they're from and then they come back when it cools down. So. If you're somebody who maybe doesn't have the ability to just up and leave during the hot months, you're gonna have to deal with it. Now, the thing that I quite don't really understand is a lot of people complain about it, but here's the fact of the matter. We are inside 95% of the times. Whenever we're working, when we're at home, you're usually inside most of your day. So while it can be hot outside you can adjust your temperature inside and you don't even have to know that it's hot outside so that would be reason number two if you're somebody who just you do not like the heat you do not want to deal with it you don't want anything to do with it do not consider moving here reason number three would be if you're somebody who does not have a car so if you do not have a car you're gonna have a very hard time living here because the public transportation is practically non-existent. We have a bus system, but it's not very good from what I hear. I've never used it personally, but I would recommend having a car here. Now, you can use Uber, you can use Lyft, but we all know if you're going to work every single day using Uber and Lyft, you're, you're gonna rack up quite a bill that's probably gonna cost you more than if you had a car payment. So, I would recommend having a car here because if you're somebody who doesn't live very, very close to where you work, the Las Vegas Valley is big. I mean, you can get across the entire thing in 45 minutes, but it's gonna be 30, 40 miles to get all the way across sometimes. So if you live where I live in Henderson, and then you work over in Summerlin, if you're doing an Uber every single day between those two, you're gonna be spending probably 40 to $50 a day on Uber. And to me, that's just, not realistic. You're not gonna actually make any money if you're doing that. So I would recommend having a car, a motorcycle, something that allows you to get around because again, this the Las Vegas area is very, very spread out. If you can land a job right next to where you work, you'll be okay. Otherwise, have a car. 
Reason number four why you should not move here. If you are somebody who is easily influenced, you don't have willpower, you do not have the ability to say no, you're gonna have a very hard time here. There is temptation everywhere. You go into the gas station, you're there slot machines. Beer is 24 seven, liquor is 24 seven, any alcohol is 24 seven. We have legalized marijuana here. We have a lot of strip clubs, we have a lot of nightlife, we have the casinos, we have legal prostitution if you go 30 minutes, 40 minutes away from here. So if you are somebody who gives in to peer pressure, you don't know how to say no, you do not know how to control yourself, you're gonna have a very bad time here and you will, you will come here and you will be a percentage of the people who leave in less than six months. There's a lot of people that move here and they have that, the, the mentality that they're living it up, they're gonna just enjoy life and they're just gonna be on a Vegas vacation for six months and they're gone very quickly because that you can't live like that. People come here on vacation like that for a weekend, but if you live here and you don't know how to say no, you're gonna be gone very fast. So do not move here if you do not have self-control. Reason number five, if you are a very closed-minded person and you like a lot of government control, you are not gonna like living here. Why? Because we have very, very loose gun laws. You can walk down the street legally holding a rifle holding a handgun. It's an open carry state here in Nevada. So if you wanna walk down the street with your rifle, you are entitled to do so. There's a ton of videos that I've seen on YouTube of people doing this. Citizens always call and they say, hey, there's a guy walking down the street with a rifle. Can you send a police unit to go tell him to get off the street or see what's going on? He looks suspicious. The guy's not doing anything wrong. Here in this state, this is the Wild West. You can go anywhere and open carry unless the, the private business has a sign on there that does not allow you to do so. I think schools, government buildings, universities, there's some stipulations to it, but it's a very open gun culture here. There's shooting ranges all over the desert when you drive out. So if you're somebody who does not have an open mind to that and you're somebody who thinks that guns kill people, this is not gonna be a good spot for you. The reason again on this is we have legalized marijuana. So if you're somebody who's not open to that, you think drugs are the devil, that you were raised with all this, this propaganda about stuff, you're not gonna like living here because it is legal. There's marijuana shops. People do smoke it publicly even though you're not supposed to. And if you live in an apartment, sometimes you will smell it because people are consuming it. So if you're somebody who is just not open-minded, here in Nevada, it's a very like, do whatever you want, just don't hurt anybody type of culture. So we don't really care. Again, we have the legalized prostitution, we have gambling, alcohol 24 seven, marijuana. We have all these different things that we don't care what you do, just don't hurt anybody. So if you're not open to that, you like government control, you like all this, these stipulations about what you can and cannot do, you're not gonna like living here because it's a very free will type of state to live in, type of city to live in. So ultimately, those are my top five reasons, guys, why you should not move here. So if you fit into any of those or if you fit into two or three of those, definitely do not move here because you will hate it. So with that being said, that wraps up this video. If you've not yet seen the top five reasons why you should move here, I'm gonna put another card to it here Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below, smash that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video.